G. Do you want to know what would be really fun? Is if we could get a sale on Call of Duty games. I wonder what they cost. Call of Duty. I love you. I want to play you. I wonder what you cost. Okay, so if we want to get this one, it's going to cost us, I don't know, 80 bucks. I don't know. It's not showing me. Yeah, 100, 90 to 100 dollars. Okay, so that's the newest one, though, right? That's. But I, I want to be clear. It shows you Modern Warfare 2 here. You don't get Modern Warfare 2. That's a lie. Okay, so what if we wanted to play Black Ops 2 or 3? Oh, that's that's eighty dollars. Okay, so we saved ten dollars if we go to Black Ops 3, which came out in 2015. Uh, Modern Warfare uh, came out in 2023. The uh, eighty dollars. Uh, okay. Um, Vanguard, eighty dollars. Oh shit! Black Ops, the first one. Oh, fifty-three dollars. Oh, okay. So you, I, I can pay almost the full price of the game that came out uh, literally fourteen years ago. Uh, World War Two, eighty dollars. Okay, Black Ops Two. That's a really popular one. Eighty dollars. Oh, crazy. So no discount. The older the games get. Okay, gotcha. Cold War, cheaper than Black Ops Two. Uh, the, the actually, in fact, World War Two is also cheaper than Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, 2 is a full dollar more expensive uh, for some reason. Infinite War. Uh, it, it's $80. Okay. Call of Duty Ghosts uh, came out in 2014, 10 years ago, $80. All right. So they just... You want to play Call of Duty 2? $26. Call of Duty 1, $26. Whoa, what about World at War? Well, you guys can play World at War for $26. All right. What about... Uh, is there any other CODs in here? Oh, we got Modern Warfare 3, the, uh, not this year's, but the other one. It, it's $53. Okay, um, oh, you can buy the whole franchise. If you want to just buy the whole fucking goddamn franchise of Call of Duty, $1,293.26. You only have to spend the price of a small used car to be able to play the old Call of Duties because they never go down in price. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Shorty Index. Wouldn't it be great if we could just, I don't know, go back and play the old Call of Duties for a reasonable price and be able to actually have fun inside the old games and reminisce on our nostalgia? The discounted rate. Man, some of these games came out in 2007. They're 30 bucks. Price of a small indie game. Some of these games are over 10 years old and priced higher than games that came out last year. Do you talk about a greedy corporation? I have never seen a Call of Duty digital sale on Bli Bli Blizzard. Battle.net? I've never seen them in the... Other than the brand new Call of Duties? You never see the old ones. You know why the old ones never go on sale? This is not a conspiracy theory. This is not a fucking... I'm just reaching here. Tinfoil hat. Everybody get ready. The aliens are coming. They're gonna probe you up the butthole kind of shit. No, 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 no. They don't put them on sale because they know 100% people will go and play the older CODs over these newer CODs any day of the week. So they leave them at full price to try to make it so people won't go buy it. The way that the Activision looks at it, this is the way their stupid brains work about it. They go, hey, if these loser players that play our game and pay for our yachts want to play the old good games, then they can pay us full price now prices. Let's be clear. They aren't making physical copies of Black Ops Cold War. They are not making any more physical copies of World at War. They aren't making any more physical copies of games like, I don't know, Modern Warfare 3. Not this one, the other one. You guys get it. So how come those games that now are completely digital have gone up with inflation? How come those games that are completely fucking digital no longer give you a freaking dig like a physical copy? And let's be clear, if you did find a physical copy inside of, a, I don't know, an EB Games or GameStop, you're going to pay like five bucks for it. These motherfuckers over here are charging inflation prices carbon tax prices for games that came out 15 years ago. A game that back then cost you what, 40 bucks, 60 bucks? Just looked it up. It was about 60 bucks, depending on where you lived. Canadian prices, obviously. They have put an extra $20 onto a game that no longer requires them. Actually, that almost $30 onto a game that no longer has them updating it. They don't maintain it. They don't balance it. They don't patch it. They do nothing. They just mark it up. This is 100% Activision making sure that people People don't go back to black ops 2 if you're going to go back to black ops 2 and instead of playing their new fully priced games then you are 100 going to pay full price for that game that way when you're sitting in the steam store you go ah 
Should I go play Black Ops 2, the most amazing Call of Duty that was ever made and the most fun and most balanced experience we've ever had? Or $80, or do I go and play Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Warzone for uh, the same price? Even though it's deceiving and you actually have to buy Modern Warfare 2 separately from Modern Warfare 3. But hey, they're not going to tell you that. You're going to buy it thinking you get all three games because some people just look at the picture because they're stupid. And then they're going to get in. They're going to be like, oh man, I'm going to go play Modern Warfare 2. And they're going to be like, I downloaded it. It's in my files. I have it all here. It has to be here here and yet i can't play it because i didn't buy it oh when my fucking 80 dollar game is actually 160 dollars if i want to go play the game that shows in the picture it has to be illegal i'm just saying it has to be illegal that they put modern warfare 3 warzone and modern warfare 2 in the same thumbnail it, ma it makes you think you're gonna get all three but you're not read the fine print shorty i don't care I already bought my game i bought it off of freaking um blizzard or whatever battle net already locked in with my stupid phone number so i can't buy alternate accounts or i gotta go buy new numbers Activision has to be the slimiest company ever, man. They have the bad Call of Duty's priced at like 20, 30 bucks, which is still like outrageous considering if you were to go buy, you could probably go buy an Xbox 360 off of like some kid who's just selling it at a garage sale with Modern Warfare 2 for like $7. Yet they're charging you 30 price of like a full-fledged game. You can literally go buy like games like Nightingale for about the same cost or dead cells or anything else, man. Like this is just rip off. Like if there was ever a sign that a company fucking hates you, the consumer more, it's these steam cells. They're, they, they never go on sale. Do you know why? Well, we've already covered it, but they know that if they were to put Black Ops 2 at like 20 bucks, that bitch is gonna pop the fuck off and their entire business model crumbles. Activision's entire business model is to continuously keep pushing you into further and further CODs where they can manipulate further and further mechanics where they can then sell you further and further fucking things. Think about it! There is skins in this game that they price at the same value as games that are on Steam. They have skins in this game that are over the value of half the game think about it in order to get the dune bonus skin yeah the bonus free skin you first have to buy two dune skins at 26 dollars a piece meaning that they value that third skin at a full 50 bucks not a bonus man you paid an extra 50 bucks they have skins in this game that cost as much as their 10 year old call of duties that are on the freaking steam store right now Brutal, dude. This should be illegal. All the stuff that Activision does should be illegal. The whole making you download not Modern Warfare 3, you also have to download Warzone, and you have to download fucking goddamn World Modern Warfare 2. So your hard drive is completely full to the bloatware hot patches that they do to make sure that you cannot play any other game. That feels illegal. That literally feels illegal. Like when you say it out loud, think about it. All right, everybody's going to have a standard Xbox, right? That Xbox is going to have 500 gigabytes of data on it, right? Some of that data is going to be used up by like just like stuff that runs in the background, apps and stuff like that that you need, like Netflix and shit. So let's just take another 20 gigabytes off of that. So then you have 480 gigabytes worth of data on your Xbox. Then Activision sitting there going, well, they can definitely put 300 and something of that aside for, uh, you know, our just little old freaking Call of Duty. And then we're just going to do bloatware patches that constantly keep making that file bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Think of all the games that are nowhere near the size of Call of Duty that are immensely better. Elden Ring. Cyberpunk 2077. Now, not then. Diablo is another good one, and that's a little bit less, but let's keep it up in the FPS genre. Battlefield 2042 is a competent FPS, and it's not the size of Call of Duty. Fortnite. Apex. Pal World. Helldivers 2, Hunter Call of the Wild, Grounded, Warhammer, Warframe, War Thunder. These are all great games that are nowhere near the size of Call of Duty's fucking game. It feels illegal that they can use that much space when they know that they are deliberately not optimizing the game properly to be able to take up that much space. It's disgusting. Then they have the blueprints, which cost an astronomical amount, have predatory practices inside of the actual game, just like mobile games, where none of you will never have enough currency to actually be able to buy this stuff that you want. You're either going to have too much or too little, but never too much, actually. You're never going to have too many credits. It's always going to be too little. Even if you have 2,600 credits and you go buy a skin for 24 and you're like, I got 200 left over. That shit doesn't buy you nothing, but it's conveniently placed where you're going to have to buy another 2,400 credits in order to buy another skin, which means you're always going to have the leftover six 200 credits crazy i know but it's done scientifically same practice as mobile games use and it's predatory in a premium price dlc game oh but shorty warzone's free this shit started before warzone came out just reacted to a video that came out eight years ago eight years ago 
and they had cryptocurrencies and loot boxes and all that shit. And on top of it, they priced their super old games at the premium price for the fucking game. Premium price. Knowing full well that those games are filled with hackers. Knowing full well that there's there's things called the rats, which will get into you. They use the game to then get into your files and your computer to then cripple you. Taking your bank account information. All sorts of stuff goes on in those old games. But they sell it to you at $80, but you accept all the risk. Not them get your $80 for a 10 year old game they pocket it into their pocket and then they go well if you get robbed in our game that we're not maintaining that we just sold you at a full premium price that's on you bitch enjoy getting robbed you know what they're probably the ones that are doing the ratting they're the ones in there stealing from you they already stole your money out of your wallet if you go back to go play those games man what happened to nostalgia what happened to being able to go play it like they have they have the nerve to put a bundle pack in call of duty on the steam storm for $1,200 Let's call it an even $1,300. Your monthly mortgage, they value their games at. Half the games they don't even maintain. They don't even maintain the games from 2019. Yet they're selling you games from 2007 at premium prices. They're selling you games from 2010 at premium prices. This has to be fucking illegal. The, the EOMM manipulating children and young ad impressionable adults because anybody with a common sense is not going to be able they, they, we sit here with the people with the common sense we sit here we see the manipulation and we go ha we see what you're doing call of duty and then we move on with our day but the manipulated people are going to be like oh man i'm in a lobby with all the skin that i really really like and i talk about all the time hmm, maybe i'll just go buy it call of duty preys on the weak the friggin fragile oh well pretending that they work for the little people man meanwhile at the same time in the same hand that they're saying oh man we're just trying to take care of the individuals who are disabled don't worry the lgbtq uh i'm not gonna say the rest of it because i can never remember it unity we're gonna make sure that we put your flags in here don't worry black people we're gonna make sure that we do a unity thing for black history month at the very same time it's company who virtue signals to you guys all the fucking time you guys eat up buying those stupid fucking goddamn things the same people are then firing 2,000 developers on the other end charging you a premium offering you less and then firing the employees on the other side we care about the community we care about the people that work for us we care about the communities that exist around our community we're just gonna fire the people that work in that community and make sure that they can't eat well we charge super inflated prices for games that came out 10 fucking years ago it makes me sick it's vile it's disgusting and this needs to be looked into by somebody in like a criminal law this has to be illegal at this point ladies and gentlemen if you guys enjoyed the content hit that like button do not forget to comment and leave a subscription down below join the rant army man the best damn army on all youtube special thank you to our channel members i really enjoy you guys being here you guys get all my content early if i upload 10 videos in a day you get all 10 that day binge watch sesh babe see you guys in the next one